Cyber Ninja Online guys, and we're back here today with the Hitman PC Beta. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Drowning His Sorrows challenges. It's going to play out kind of like the uh, Silent Assassin challenge did. So we're just going to jump right into it here. Uh, the only difference between the Silent Assassin challenge and this one is that you have to drown him in this one. If you do the Silent Assassin, uh, yeah, Silent Assassin challenge, you don't have to drown him. But note that if you do do the Silent Assassin challenge, it gets you a whole bunch the of other challenges anyways. So you might as well just challenge. Uh, just challenge. You might as well just drown him there. There we go. So first thing, first things first. I'm gonna slow down my talking so I get all my words out. There we go. You want to come this way, and we want to vault over this. And then we're going to go this way to this next gate. So like I said, it's going to route the exact same way my Silent Assassin route did. The only difference is uh, we're specifically going for the Drowning Him one. So we're going to vault that one, and then we're going to sneak over this way. And we're going to sneak through that window. Just like that. Sometimes the guard might be passing by, but you shouldn't have to worry too, too much. So we're going to go in the locker room and get the uh, mechanics outfit. Back home. Bam, just like that. Got tons of rum, but vodka. So let's go this Here way. I know, but at least pretend and then we're going to go up. That man is KGB. Pretty high up the chain. We got to go get the vodka. And then we got to... Um, we got to poison the cup, get the vodka, and also rig the chess game. So I'm going to get the poison first. Bam. And the reason I do it in this order is just because it's uh, it's just easier. So we gotta wait for this guard to leave. And he's gone, cool. So we wanna poison this glass. Cause this is the one Jasper will be drinking out of. You're gonna wanna tamper with his chess game. And this makes him be able to drink because he solves his, like, his, um, his problem, I guess. All you have to do is move the queen over the one space. And now we have to go get the bottle of vodka and then place it down for him. Welcome. So we're going to go down this way, head to the kitchen and get the bottle of vodka. So there we are right there. Pick that up. And now we head back up and place down the vodka. Here we go. Yes. Just the move I was contemplating. I appreciate the gesture, friend, but one genius is more than enough. There we go. Why on earth didn't I think of that? He'll take a drink like momentarily. The only uh thing about doing it this way is that sometimes you get bad timing and he'll take the drink and also he'll be coming in the bathroom. But we'll see how it plays out here. I'll be able to drown him, hide his body, and bam. There you go, as soon as he goes over there, you want to drown him. And we'll want to hide as soon as that happens. The only reason... The reason you want to hide is if you, if you don't want to get caught, hiding's the easiest thing to do here. But, um... If you don't care, you can just run out the level. If you want to do it a little bit differently, what you can do is uh, wait for this guy to come in the bathroom first. You can knock him out, then set up the bottle of vodka and have him drink. But anyways, though, guys, I hope this helped. If it did, leave a like. If you have anything to say, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and share as it really helps me out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.